five reasons why guys are stupid. Hey, 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 what's cracking? Man, take your tie and just leave me alone. Whoa, 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 whoa. what's wrong with the tie, bro? It's a Christmas gift. Huh? Just don't bother me, I'm going to sleep. Ugh. So you're just gonna make me do this alone? That's it? You wanna find? I don't need you. I'm too good for you anyway. Let's do this. Yo, 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 welcome to the five reasons why guys are stupid. Not including me though. But let's begin. Number five. Guys are too competitive. They compete over everything. Whether it's at work, who's the better worker? Whether it's at sports, who's the better player? Whether it's in fashion, who looks the best? Or automobiles, whose car is the nicest? Whose car is the fastest? Whose car gets more women? Number one thing us guys like to compete in is women. Number four, guys have too much pride. They will never admit it, whether they are lost, wrong, and they won't apologize for it, or they won't admit to a mistake. And they know deep down inside that they might be wrong about those things, but they'll never admit it. They'll never say anything about it, and they will fight to be right even though they're wrong. Number three, guys are selfish. No matter how nice they are to you, whether they're your friend, your relative, your boyfriend, whatever, there's always something behind the niceness. Something they want, whether it be money, power, sex, your sister's phone number, they want it. And they'll be nice to you just to get it. Tisk tisk. What's your sister doing later? Number two, guys are complete liars. Believe me, they lie about everything. Believe me, about anything that makes them look good, they will lie about it. They'll lie about how much they can bench, how many girls they've slept with, how big their junk is. It's just natural. It's almost as natural as breathing sometimes. And sometimes people lie, they'll tell little white lies just to get out of a sticky situation. Oh honey, does this dress make me look fat? Uh, Twix break! Number one. The number one reason guys are stupid. The absolute number one reason that I think guys are stupid. Remember, this is just my opinion. They put, how do you say it? Let me show it to you. Put the taco. pedestal on the top of their list of priorities no matter what they say whether they say my number one priority is family my number one priority is religion my number one priority is work whatever brush that aside because our real number one priority is that which is up up on high on the pedestal guys will do anything to get it even if they already have it even if they already have a ring around their finger, they will do anything to maybe just get something on the side. Something different. Because we all know that variety is the spice of life. And that's why recently there has been a lot of divorces, a lot of people getting caught cheating. Why? Because in our minds, which we were born with, natural instinct is to procreate. I know that shouldn't be any sort of reason. That should not be any sort of excuse. Guys will do anything to get it. They will lie. They will cheat, they will steal, they will backstab their bestest friend just to get it. And in some extreme cases, they will kill for it. And there has been many movies out there that have dealt with this sort of situation where guys cheat. Here's some of them. think prostitution is the oldest profession in the world people will pay good money for it but that's what porn is for it's what all those other devices are for it's to keep you in check but sometimes it's not enough guys will cheat and guys will get caught and I'm sorry but it happens and you may feel bad about cheating inside your head you're like yes mark that up I'm sorry men 
for giving this away, but don't worry. Ladies, you're next. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Be ready. Because it ain't going to be pretty. Hey, Happy New Year's, everyone. 2011 hasn't been the greatest year for certain people. But for me, it was all right. And I hope you've had a great and wonderful year. And I hope your 2012 will be fun and enjoyable and have many relationships and making lots of money and eating healthy and making babies and just having a good old sweet jolly time and I hope that you like subscribe comment whatever it is to me because I want to be your friend and so let's just sing together and then, and then, and then. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I don't know the words, but Happy New Year's and thanks for watching. And if you're wondering what this thing is in my arm, I went to the clinic today to get, you know, a checkup. So, if you're worried, it's just a little blood test. Which the doctor says I'm fine. So, I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. <laughs> Peace.